because that's what you represent, right. unity. You right. know, it's not it's not just uh, uh, you come in and they come in and you're gonna fight. You know, right. I mean, it, this is one place and it's a neutral place, and sure. you know. Yep. And then every Wednesday we do a hot meal, so we'll make a meal Wednesday, and then we do like a open family meal style. So we'll do, oh wow, we'll do soups or spaghetti or casserole. what time is that? So we usually just start serving about seven thirty. Seven thirty. You know. I'm See, teaching. get getting ideas, get right. ideas. <laughs> hey, maybe we'll meet, we'll meet you one of these days. Right. Right. <laughs> okay, so now, um, so Officer uh, Joy Reyes, um, he is, or is he in charge of certain programs of the Paul, or do so, you guys try to share the time that you guys do together? We definitely share all of it. Uh, He just started 60 days ago, so he's still learning. It's it's quite overwhelming to jump in with all the stuff going on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so I said, hey man, if you can take care of the garden and some of the art stuff and the pantry stuff, I'll take care of all the rest. Like So we have to do all the stat keeping and paperwork and new additions and entering. It's a lot of work. It's, 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 it's a, a lot of work. Day. It's a busy day. Yeah. We do say that um, this program has also and correct me if I'm wrong, it has expanded your career as a police officer. Oh, for sure. Yeah, definitely. I've met so many more people than I would have if I were on the streets. Mm -hmm. So a lot more doors have opened up. And, uh, no, do you have now a, a different perspective? Um, we, we like to open the show with, tell us a little bit about your cultural background right. and your ethnicity. Mm -hmm. um, because regardless of your race, regardless of your the, the, the skin of your the coloration of your skin, everybody has a cultural background and everybody has an ethnicity. That's how we start. And you come across from kids from all cultural backgrounds, all races, right? Correct? Correct. Um, has it been an eye opener to come across different cultures? Oh, for sure. Like uh, we have a Burmese kid that Burmese. I don't really know much about that culture. Mm -hmm. And he's there at the gym pretty much every day. He lives down the street. Uh, We fix his bicycle for him. We we do all kinds of stuff for that kid. So, and then uh, kids that it's different seeing them without being called to their house. Mm. You know, there's a they still think you're the cops mm -hmm. at the beginning yeah. until mm -hmm. they realize you're just regular people who doing the same stuff mm -hmm. they like to do. Mm -hmm. You know, you like watching the same movies, you like watching the same TV, you like playing mm -hmm. the same video games, you like playing the same sports. You know, and then they open up, you start laughing and joke with them, and then. It's it's all everybody's the same. I mean, like I said, just because their skin color is different, they once you start getting in, humans are humans. All the same. Yes. Yeah. Humans yes. are humans, and uh, and uh, I have been blessed. Um, I've been able to travel uh, throughout the world, and uh, to me, human beings are human beings. You're gonna have amazing human beings, and you're gonna right. have human beings that are not so amazing. It's like it. It's like um, you know, not every. Not every parent is a good parent. Right. Not every police officer is a good police officer. Right. Not every teacher is a good teacher. Or not every priest is a good priest. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that's what it is because we're dealing with human beings. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. Um, it's the same with the kids, you know. They're all, I haven't had any issues with any of the kids. They've all been good awesome. kids, but I have like a group of like 20 that I can call up and say, hey, I need to volunteer for this. And mm -hmm. I know that they're going to see us when I call mm -hmm. them. Now, do you have to write the grants? In the, the, that allow you to keep the uh, the PAL, the building open? I don't think in this, but we do have a grant writer on staff full time that's in the church every day. So every he's day. there 40 hours a week. Is right. this person a police officer? Can you see that right? He is not. He's a he's a attorney, a retired attorney. A retired attorney. That's awesome. So he used to work for El Centro. Okay. Mm, so fantastic. So, he writes a bunch of grants. Um, this grants, they're coming from private corporations. I'm assuming also for the federal government. Correct? They come from everywhere. Yes. From everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah, from the mm -hmm. Hollywood everywhere. Casino, the Seven Street Casino, City Hall, uh, federal, state, everywhere you can find one. That's all he does all day is just find him and write him. Can you, if you if you can't, it's totally understandable. What is the budget to keep uh, the power going, approximately? Oh, I think the boxy alone uh, is around 40 grand, I think 40 or 50 grand a year. A year. That's with electrical, gas. Uh, paying salaries and then 
So insurance, um, insurance, look, it's not like these coaches are making uh, millions of dollars. Yeah. So whatever little that we can offer, whatever little that we can give is going to help uh, this amazing uh, program uh, going. And, uh, you know, I don't know where he's at. I don't know if he's listening to us, but um, I think we need to be grateful to uh, office, uh, to Chief uh, Terry Ziegler for mm -hmm. for for being the, uh, the the one who saw the light and got together with my, Matt Tomasic mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. to a star this phenomenal program. Yeah, sure. yeah. And if anybody would like to donate, how can they do that? Yes. So, so we have a web, uh, website, it's www.palkck.com and there's a donate button on there. And then our Facebook page, I believe you can donate through there also. And then all of our information about what we do, how we do it, what times are all on Facebook and on our website. Mm -hmm. Do you have an Instagram? We do. Do you have a YouTube page? Uh, uh, John, not so. yet, but we're working on it. You're it's, working on it. We have a list of uh, tech stuff, which I'm not an IT guy. Uh, you we, know, have, it, we have an IT guy that's helping, but that's on the list of to check off. and get, You, get you know what is funny? <laughs> that there, there was a time, and you, you're probably familiar with this. There was a time where uh, just about every, every boxing gym in the United States of America, or probably the world, was it was either <clears throat> sponsored by police departments, the Catholic Church, mm -hmm. or the local government. But uh, and then somehow they all they all disappear. Oh, they they disappear. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. So you know, of course, everything is money. But um, w w what else can you tell us about about this program? What give us? I don't know if you can. Give us an example of a child that uh, uh, that whose life has been changed because of this amazing program. And you don't have to mention names. right, no names, no names. There's 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 quite a few. Like there's a lot of stories that come come from this. So my whole thing is when they ask me how do you go about mentoring these kids, I said, well, I want them to think outside their neighborhood. Like all these kids live inside their block, so mm -hmm. they play sports on their block, fight with their neighbors. They don't they don't know about pickleball. Because they've never been outside their block. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't want to do basketball. I don't want to do football. I don't want to do baseball. I'll, we'll go outside. We have a football. I think we're going to put up a basketball goal eventually, but it'll be removable, something that we can keep an eye on. Mm -hmm. You know, but we'll keep everything locked up. But I know those kids know how to do that and they, they know what it is. But mm -hmm. I want them to do stuff like archery and fishing and pickleball and surfing, which is hopefully going to be something we can do yearly with a small group of kids every year. So, uh, but wow, there's there's kids that you, you know, need you need to start uh, a martial arts club, <laughs> right? Maybe a fencing club. That's another good thing. I know you're teaching kids to to swim. Mm -hmm. Is Correct. there a, a age limit? So I kind of just handpick kids that I knew could swim and had some kind of issues in their in their neighborhood. So uh, it's a small group at, at the moment. It's kind of like a test run. Mm -hmm. So I pick. Six kids, and we take them swimming every Friday night. And man, so, so a fifty-three-year-old man will not qualify, because right. <laughs> I can't swim as a volunteer. Yeah, I'm sorry, did you say sixty-three? <laughs> fifty-three. No, no, no. Fifty-three. Uh, uh, yes. Come on. I can't swim, so I was hoping that you know they can teach me a little lesson here, right. there, you yeah. know. <laughs> so, um, have you had any problems with graffiti? A new building? Not, not, not at all. Not once. No, not in the bathrooms. Not outside. Mm -hmm. not, not, not it, 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 it takes me back to what I said, you know, it's because of who you guys right. are, you know, you, you respect these young men and, and women, right. and they respect you back, exactly. they know that you take care of your building, you, you take care of the equipment, and, yeah. and, and they see that, so you are teaching them mm -hmm. life skills, right? you know, right. You're, you're teaching them how to have respect for someone else's property, right. and their own, you know, they destroy that, they can't use it, right, exactly, yeah. so, Man, mm -hmm. I, I really, I admire you guys for, for what you do. For what yeah, you, yeah. Doing. Just, you learn something new every day. The, the hard work that is being done by um, Officer Locke here and Officer Ray, who just began just a few weeks ago. The hard work that is done by all the volunteers, the coaches, the different programs that we have. We're going to have to interview everyone. Yes. So I thought yes. we were going to run out of people to interview. But I, I, don't don't think think I don't think we will. I don't think we will. We have a nice lineup for, for everybody here. But yeah, you know. Uh, 
Do, how about parents that want to volunteer or, or anybody in the community that, that want to, you know, be a part of sure. this and, and help you guys out? Sure. So there's a, a message button on the webpage. Uh, and then on Facebook, you can message us through that. And then I think there might be a number on Facebook. I'm not one. Okay. Are you in need of volunteers? Oh, we can always use volunteers, especially this time of year when it's uh, planting season and garden season. Uh, that's the best time to volunteer, be outside. So mm -hmm. the, the garden season, uh, does it start early morning or how so does it start? Marcella sometimes, I think right now, it's the planting part of it. So she doesn't get there till about 10, 1030. 10. And then she's there till dark. And then uh, once the summer months hit, when it's just a little hot, it'll she'll probably be in at the sun up till about noon. Until noon. Mm -hmm. So, man. Well, so well. Uh, to recap, to recap, you guys are open four times a week. Yep. Monday through Thursday. Through Thursday. Yep. And the hours are from five. But you're there at three o'clock. Yep, we're there. Three. Three to eight, we're there. Uh, eight. Boxing's five to eight, but the coaches are there for six to eight. Mm -hmm. um, but we're going to start having the computer lab open and we're going to start having some other stuff going on uh, outside of boxing for sure. And the program is free, free. to everyone free. Correct. who wants to get involved yep. in it. Wow. Is, is there anything you would like to tell parents listening, you know, that might need a little extra help with their child, their young man or, or daughter, you know? Right. But since you, you were involved with all this, right. you know, I would say just, just try it out, like bring them for a week or two. Let us talk with them a little bit. Let us, most kids seem to change really quickly once they're not under their parents' umbrella all the time and they can hear from somebody else. So once they start hearing from somebody else, it usually starts clicking like, okay, maybe my parents aren't so crazy and strict. Maybe, <laughs> maybe you say, everybody acts like this. I think a lot of us can relate to that, you know? So, mm -hmm. And then, you know, we, I, I do have a goal of trying to turn out a lot of police officers from this. And we do have about 20 kids that are like, I'm going to be a cop. And uh, That's awesome. We, we, we've been prepping them. We've been telling them, hey, this is kind of what you need to do. This is what kind of grades you need to do. This is what you need to stay away from. This mm -hmm. is what you need to do for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we show them around the police department. Uh, we got like three kids that want to be like CSI. And we're going to take them out to Johnson County. We're going to take them over to Casey Mo. Let them see all of the, the cool forensic stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but I got... Some heavy vests from when I was on the SWAT team. You know, I got those hanging in my office. So, you know, you throw those on a kid and say, "All right, now you're gonna run around the gym and you're gonna do a couple pull-ups and you're gonna crawl a little bit and <laughs> act like you gotta watch a house for hours and hours after that." You know, so uh, but they like you know the role playing stuff. They like putting the stuff on, the gear on, and kind of mm -hmm. doing all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So, have you seen the change of confidence of someone? Oh, for sure. Yeah, there's kids that come in that you know you talk to them and they just look down. They don't. They don't respond. But after a week. You know, they won't stop talking to you. You're mm -hmm. like, hey, I gotta go talk to somebody else now. That's it. I enjoyed the last ten minutes when mm -hmm. somebody else's turn now. So yeah, but yeah. A couple of weeks we had uh, Captain Pruitt here with us, and uh, she explained just a little bit about you know Pal that was under uh, um, a community policing. Right now, this is what they do. You know, police officers are not always patrolling the street. Mm -hmm. They're also very involved with our community, helping our our youth, our kids. You know guiding them to become productive members of society and you know i mean what you know my men right i'll uh, respect yes, i yes. i am telling you i yes. whew, I, i'm very right now i feel extremely emotional because <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you the good surpasses the evil sure. yes. and um just instead of watching the news every single day and being packed with negative influence from the news, just watch something else. <laughs> <laughs> like the dot plot. Watch the dot Volunteer, plot. volunteer. Volunteer. Yeah. Yeah. So long, is anything else that you would like to uh, communicate to uh, our audience that we haven't touched? Our community. Well, I th we, we touched on a lot, but we could sit here and talk for hours about all the stuff Pal does. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we, we want to give kids there first. We want to make sure they're steering the right. We make them productive citizens. And we want to get them job careers that we know that we, they can get. So we want to, we know not every kid's going to be a doctor or lawyer, um, but yes. we know people and people know what, that what we're doing and they mm -hmm. bring down, uh, we've had military recruiters come down. We've had business owners come down that do electric, you know, electrical, electrical, electrical mm -hmm. stuff and all that stuff. So, you know, just good trade jobs. And mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. there's so much more than just coming down boxing. That's invest just, in yes. humanity, yes. invest in humanity. It is the inhumanity of humans that continue 
to create the grief, the pain that we see every day. Yeah. The inhumanity or own inhumanity. Okay. Um, so the kids, the kids pretty much lead us to where we want to go. So if they yeah. say, we've had a group of them said, I need to get my driver's license. And then we got to think about it. Wow. Okay. Well, let's get them the driver's license. So we're going to start putting together a driver's ed class. And then we're going to work on a hunter's ed class. And then we're going to try to roll that into like a firearm safety class. Wow. All firearm, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All the firearm yeah. issues going on. Uh, yes. We teach a firearm safety class. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's whatever the kids they want to yes. do. We'll, we'll try to. We'll try to. I'm them. glad you did not retire. Right? <laughs> I'm glad you stayed. Yes. Yes. I'm glad you, you listened to Chief uh, Ziegler. Right. Um, I, 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 I know you have a you have a great commander on uh, 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 Commander Pruitt. We do. And um, man, we are so grateful. I I, I learned. I was. I, I learned so much. Mm -hmm. So much to that. Yes. Yes. There is so much going on. And uh, we thank you for, for being here, for accepting uh, the invitation and, uh, you know, you. telling uh, our, our community what Pal is doing, the police department, yep. you know. Thank you, Matt Tomasek. Yes. Thank you so yes. much. You're the man. I know who you are. You might not remember me. <laughs> That's okay. My heart is, yeah. I'm crying yeah. here for you. Uh, thank you so much. Happy Easter. Uh, God bless. Go out there. Do your best. Keep on looking forward. Don't look back. Look forward. Stay positive. Till next time. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, amazing. Yes.